Biodiversity. What does it mean? Simple. How many different animals, plants, and insects per square mile? I will argue Columbia is number one. Take a step back for a moment. Since all things seem to be political these days, I need to be clear. I'm not referring to global warming, climate change, or anything of the sort. Biodiversity is not left or right. It just is. For example, one of my heroes is Teddy Roosevelt. Granted, he was media savvy for sure, but he was an avid hunter and he loved nature. So much so, he wanted to preserve it for everyone, forever, and created the National Park Service. Growing up with streams and hills and woods and furry animals, as well as being an avid gun owner, I relate to him. People like us want to preserve our forests for posterity. Think Walden's Pond. Then immersing in nature brings something you cannot find in any other way. So we love nature. Now, back to Colombia. National Geographic once stated that if Earth's biodiversity were a country, it would be called Colombia. And this is no mere hyperbole. The South American nation is the most biodiverse country on Earth by area, and second overall behind the much larger Brazil. The staggering fact is that one in every 10 species of flora and fauna that is found on the earth can be found in Colombia. So what's the reason behind this incredible biodiversity? Before we get into the why of Colombia's remarkable biodiversity, it's worth taking a deeper look at some of the astounding numbers. In 2016, Colombia was home to 56,343 species, and many more have been discovered since then, of which over 9,000 are endemic or unique to the country. It's classed as one of Earth's 17 mega diverse countries. There are more species of birds and orchids in Colombia than anywhere else on the planet and Colombia is second in the number of species of plants, amphibians, butterflies, freshwater fish. It's third in the number of species of palm trees and reptiles and fourth in its diversity of mammals. Surely Colombia is a paradise of biodiversity. Now why is that the case? The key to Colombia's enviable biodiversity lies in its varied ecosystems. The six natural regions of Colombia, Andean, Caribbean, Pacific, Orinoquia, Amazon, and Insular are home to practically every type of ecosystem on earth, from tropical rainforest and Andean cloud forest to open savannas and high altitude moorland. While Colombia's biodiversity is highest in the Andean region, followed closely by the Amazon, the entire country is remarkably biodiverse. In Colombia, it's possible to travel from desert to alpine tundra within a few days, passing through jungles along rivers and overseas. The Andes splits into three ranges in Colombia, 
and all of these deep valleys and divisions have made for remarkable endemism or endemic or unique animals as new species evolved in isolation. One area worth highlighting is the Sierra Nevada de Mont Santa Marta, a small coastal mountain range which is older than the Andes and according to National Geographic is the most irreplaceable ecosystem on earth due to its high concentration of endemic and threatened species. The mountain encompasses almost all ecosystems from tropical coastal jungle to high altitude tundra with everything from desert and scrub forest to cloud forest and paramo in between. It's essentially a microcosm of Earth's biodiversity in one small mountain range. Little wonder then that the local indigenous people who call the area home consider it to be the heart of the world. When it comes to biodiversity, one could perhaps say the same of Colombia. President Santos once said, the biodiversity is to Colombia what oil is for the Arabs. Now all of that is well and good and it comes straight from several articles written about the amazing biodiversity. But what does it mean to your life daily? And see that's where it comes into play not only when you go out and around you experience an environment that you've never seen or been in before but you get this feeling I've expressed in videos in the past that something about coming to this area here in Armenia there's there's more of an intangible than anything else that when I come here I just feel at home and what I mean is I feel very comfortable but more than that I feel very connected almost going back to my childhood when I would go out and play in the in the woods and I would poke at animals I'd never seen before and you know try to catch crayfish and lizards and <laughs> that was my world it was my adventure and I come here and it invokes those same feelings it's not a coincidence that I talk about, you know, my adventures in Gran Colombia, Ecuador and Colombia. It's not a coincidence because it it's not so much that I'm going out and swinging from trees and having that kind of adventure, but it invokes the feeling of my youth when everything was an adventure. You know, when you go and stand at the base of the wax palm and you look up and you've never seen trees so tall and then you find out that wax palms only are in Colombia. It's a national tree, but it's an amazing tree. Yeah, it looks like a palm tree on steroids. It's a palm tree that just, it reaches to the clouds. It, it's amazing. And to see a forest of these trees it's just breathtaking. And these are the kind of adventures that I talk about. I did an interview not so long ago, and I'm going to give you the date so that you can go to the YouTube page of Grand Columbia and you can look this up. It was September 6, 2019. And in this interview, it was titled Bird Watching and Much More. And the interview was with the 
founder of Penelope Birding. And I highly recommend that you go back and you take a look at that interview. I, I'm shocked that it's one of my least watched videos because it was such an excellent video. Uh, his English is very good. But he has a company, started a company, and he's actually supported by the Colombian government. And he can arrange tours, one, two, one day, two days, a week. And they can tailor those tours where you can go and see things that people have never seen before. And yes, his passion is bird watching. However, these tours aren't just strictly bird watching. You can go out to any type of ecosystem and he will show you around and he'll show you what's unique and special about it. And remember that so many of these species are found only in Colombia. I struggled with this video because I didn't know how to do it right. I didn't know how to do it justice. And what it really boiled down to is there is no way for me to show you in pictures or express the feelings and emotions that you get from actually being here and being around these things. And finally, I just gave up and said, I'll never be able to do that. So this is my attempt to give you at least some sense, maybe the statistics, the numbers, the uniqueness of what Colombia is. And maybe you'll see Colombia in a manner other than is portrayed by one of your favorite Netflix series. It's my hope that this video might possibly intrigue you to look into this further. And if it does, then I've succeeded. Feel free to leave comments below. And of course, subscribe, thumbs up, blah, 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 all that good stuff. But mostly comments. If you've been here before, if you've had any kind of unique experience, I would like to read about it. I will read these. And if there, you have any questions, there's a community that comments. Maybe somebody will have the answer. Maybe I'll have an answer or point you in the right direction. If you're not a member, consider joining, and I want to thank you. We'll see you in the next Coffee Time.